Sergei Nihalto, thank you very much for being with us today. You're welcome. Um, can you tell us about, about your brand, about what you do every day, and especially about the wonderful creation that I see on your wrist? <laughs> Hey, what I do every day, I work every day at the bench yeah. and, uh, and sometimes I am traveling to share also my vision of uh, watchmaking and my work and the work uh, of my colleagues. And, uh, but um, at the bench you dream a lot and uh, sometimes you dream a very interesting watch. And um, for four years, five years ago I wanted to to create a vision I had during some dreams in my sleeping time and I, uh, I made this uh, three axis tourbillon with a uh, quite special architecture um, I wanted to show in the middle of the watch some uh, feeling uh, of uh, human being and human life and uh, around this explanation of our dimension I wanted to to show the time around that it's why the, um, the watch it's uh, quite very symmetrical uh, with uh, kinetic animation in the middle and the time around mm -hmm. uh, like uh, our universe uh, three dimension and the time from uh, um, everywhere or anywhere you don't know Okay. which way to take yeah. and uh, the, the watch it's quite for me a big watch uh, it's the first time I made a watch uh, of 46 millimeter yeah okay, it's quite okay. yeah. big for me uh, I, I made always very s small and thin watches uh, it was my first time I agree with myself to realize a big watch big but uh, at the end not so big if you compare now with uh, the market yeah, yeah. and uh, it's a watch in titanium because uh, the uh, the inspiration came from space and uh, at the end titanium was also quite space material yes. and uh, i wanted also to 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 create a volume inside the watch quite uh, large, mm -hmm. and it's why the the, the glass is so it, it, it uh, is big. A, it's a very dome. dome yeah, glass. it's a dome. Yeah, yeah, it absolutely. was uh, under the dome what you want to keep. Yeah. Um, uh, it's nice. It's a nice thinking behind it. It's also very futuristic looking. Yeah, yeah. At, at yeah, the so end, I I, mm -hmm. I I I I wanted to have an, a futuristic um, shape but with uh, inside an, um, something from the, pay, from the past, uh, from our heritage of the watchmaking world. And, yeah. uh, and at the end, it's like a box in the museum uh, to show what it was in the past, but uh, should, in, showed in the modern uh, case. Okay. And uh, it's quite traditional with a very futuristic um, twist, uh, twist. Twi yeah. yeah okay yeah well you said that you dreamed of creating something like this can you tell us more or less how long it took yeah. to, to create that it was a, a strange time in my life i wanted in 2011 i wanted to stop watchmaking because i thought now it's quite 40 years I'm in this world no. and maybe uh, the time is going on quite fast and quickly mm -hmm. and I wanted to look something else but I came back to my uh, um, origin uh, with the passion with the science fiction and uh, comics and something else and uh, I spent time to read again to, to read books comics to see old series of science fiction like Star Trek and something else and I discover uh, Star Trek Deep Space Nine and uh, it was so dense in six months to see the whole episode then in the night I dreamed the watch and the only way to share that with my uh, colleagues and my friends because I'm watchmaker it was to make one piece close to my dream and uh, when the watch um, appear 
people around me said, oh, it's, it's not possible you stop now, because with that, it's important to share with people around yeah. who, who like your work and you who, uh, want to, to touch also yes. your history and your dream. And I decided to, uh, to, um, to work a little bit more to produce the watch yeah. and to yeah. share that with uh, some bodies around the world. So maybe as a last question, how many pieces do you make a, a year, like of your whole collection? Uh, very few. Um, uh, in 2012, I think uh, I, I made less than 10 pieces. Less than well. Yeah, and yeah. Uh, last year I made uh, uh, 18 pieces. 18? Yeah, 18. Okay. Double. Double. Yeah. <laughs> Double. Yeah. I mean, if you look at that scale, that's, that's enormously, it's much, much more. Yeah, okay. but uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, 10 years ago, um, the maximum uh, it was possible to produce a year, it was around 80, 90 pieces a year. Okay. But uh, with the um, piece less complicated. But uh, I decided to um, reduce my, uh, my size and uh, to focus on more complicated pieces mm -hmm. and at the end uh, more complicated is more time yeah. okay well thank you very much for giving us a little bit an insight of what you do and you're a fantastic brand I think. yeah thank you very much thank you